All right, so the tent goes together pretty simple. It's actually very straightforward. What we're gonna do, I made it small. I just, because it'd be easier to see in the video because the actual file is quite large. Uh, it's just an octagon with a little roof on it. So to make the base, uh, the bottom of the box, we've got two pieces for the bottom and then four that make up the sides. And we're just gonna fold all the tabs over and fold in the center. And do that to our next one as well. There we go. And then I'm gonna put some glue on my tab, line it up and glue it in place. And I do want to make sure that I get it lined up really well so that it is straight and it meets right at the top, right at the bottom of that corner. If I'm not sure, I can go ahead and set it like that. Make sure that it's nice and level at the bottom there. I just don't want it to be at an angle because then the bottom of the box itself won't go into place very well. Got those two in place and I'll the next two. Don't need to do a ton of glue, just enough to make sure to have a good hold. There we go. Never hurts to check. Make sure you really are straight. All right, last one. Each of these have two sides for it, which gets you your full eight all the way around. And I can fold that over just so it's not coming off the table. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and fold this over, put my glue along here, make sure there's none back there, I don't want to stick it together in the middle. I can fold this around, it's closing off the box to give it the octagon shape. There we go. This is the bottom. I'm going to make sure my tabs are in. It's a nice big box right there. I'm going to put glue on each one of the bottom tabs and then put one of the um, bottom panels in place. Both of those panels are identical, so it doesn't really matter which one you choose for inside your box or which one goes outside the box. But having the two means the tabs are covered and hidden so you don't have to see them, but it also gives the bottom a little more strength. That way when you put stuff in it, it's less likely to bow or tear. My way all the way around. All right, last one. lined up here. Get one tab lined up and the rest will just kind of fall into place. Just like that. There we go. I'm going to make sure to press each one of those tabs really well. I don't want to have one not get strongly attached. 
we go. That's good. Now what I'm gonna do, set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue over all of this and then I can go ahead and attach it to the bottom of my box. I'm gonna make sure I get close to the edges so that there aren't little flaps that are free to catch on stuff when I'm moving my box around. And you'll be able to go a little slower, have everything a little bit neater. Make sure you get it real close to those edges there. You can even take your finger and kind of spread it towards the edge if that's a little easier for you. I'm just trying to do this real quick to show you how it all goes together. Take that. So, just gonna try to move it here so you can see. And there we go. And normally I'd stand up and look straight down on it, kind of from the position that the camera's in, so that I can make sure that that is really nice and square and lined up. If I did that, you'd just be seeing the back of my head. All right, so I got it fixed. Now I can turn it back over, use my hand, and just press all over inside to make sure those two panels are really well attached to each other. All right. Now, the next step is we're gonna be working on the side here. And for the sides, again, there are eight panels. And I have already attached some of the decorations to the panels. I left two of them blank because our elephants will go on two, and it's a little easier to make sure it's all lined up and, and fits well if they're not attached previously. But the rest of them, are just on the one panel themselves, so I did it already. Made sure the bottom was lined up, layered all my little curtains. I did two of those. We've got our little lion, our uh, you know, ballerina on a horse, the high wire guy, and our seal. So I'm gonna start actually with the curtains because I wanna make sure that they get opposite of each other. Um, so I'm gonna move this aside. I'm going to take my box here. Uh, I'll start putting the glue over here and then I'll put it on my box. Just glue all the way around the outsides. And then just a little bit in the middle to make sure it holds. You don't really need to do a ton um, so that it doesn't kind of bend outward at all. So I'm going to put it at the bottom, centered, and then just bring it straight up, making sure that we're centered. Go across, I can check my edges here, make sure it's lined up. And then I'm actually gonna put it face down and give it a good push on the inside. That way I know that glue has really made contact and it's secure. So I'm gonna turn it around keeping track that it's over there, and do the same thing with my other door. And then after that, they can really go in any order you want, just making sure that those elephants have two side by side. So I think we'll actually start with the elephants because it would be unfortunate to uh, get everything together and realize we made that mistake. I'm gonna do it again, lift it up. There we go. It's nice and lined up there. Now I'm going to turn it over and give it a good push. There we go. So I'm going to start with my elephants. I've got the two papers here. Get them glued in place. Just a little bit there. So I'm gonna have them walking towards the door, I think. And really you can put them anywhere you want. 
They just need to have two panels side by side. There we go. Put this other one oops, on there. And again, when you're doing this yourself, you can go nice and slow, get it really lined up if you want. Maybe your pattern paper will create a pattern that continues all the way around. I just have stripes, so some of them line up, some of them don't with the way that they ended up cutting out. But it kind of doesn't really matter, I don't think, with these red and white stripes. There we go. So now, what I have are those two. My elephants are going to cover them. And if you would do a practice lineup, you'll see that the big elephant kind of makes the corner just a little bit. So I'm going to start by doing the big elephant first, gluing it in place, and then I'm going to glue my little elephant after. So, there we go. Sure, I get kind of all the way to the end of the ear and the trunk. I don't want them coming loose later. So I'm just going to do the big elephant right now. And then I'll put glue on the little elephant in just a moment. So let me just take her and put her right about there. Line it up at the bottom. Here we go. So, she's in place. Now I'm going to bend this around. I'm going to have to bend over here. And I'm going to now turn it over and add glue to the back so that these little elephant, our little elephant stays in place too. So. There we go. Just take my hand and slide it over. Get the whole thing there. I want to really make sure that stays lined up. Our tail doesn't really like the turn, but it's okay. There we go. Now I'm going to give them both a good push from the inside. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I might have to come back and clean it up a little bit. I've got some glue onto my gold, but that's this stuff's nice. I can take a little damp Q-tip and clean it up. So for the rest of them, I have my seal, two people, and a lion. So I'm going to put one person on each side just to spread them out a bit. You can put them in any order you want. It's not going to hurt anything to go in a different order. There we go. Let's place it on there. Oh, there we go. Do my other three here real quick. does not take a lot of glue. I just need it to stay on. It's not a structure thing. Though the extra layer of paper does kind of help the sides of the box itself be stronger. It's not super important that it be really attached. It just needs to stay in place. There we go.
All right, last one. Get our seal right here. All right. I was in a little bit of a hurry, so I've got a couple of loose spots here, which are easily fixed, but you can uh, go a little slower and prevent some of those from happening in the first place. There we go. And now, a little box, on the bottom at least, it's all done. How cute is that? The next part is going to be the roof. And this is made of eight triangles. They're all identical, so it doesn't matter which one you start with or which one goes next. But what I'm going to do is just fold over this tab and this tab and then this part here. Now I'm going to add some glue to my tab. Make sure I get my point lined up nice and straight along my edge. bit off so I can just take it off and start over it's fine and make sure the bottom is really good because otherwise it won't be the end of the world but it just means that these little pieces down here when we fold and glue them I want to make sure that those are lined up and straight not one hanging down further than the other it just looks a lot nicer and be neat and tidy about it so I'm going to just keep going around until all eight are done this. There we go. All right, and we'll just keep going around with all of them. All right, I have all eight of my triangles done, and so now it's time to uh, connect them together. It's the same as before. The only difference is now it's going to form a bit of a peak. So I'm going to go ahead, put that in place. as I can. There we go. All right, so this is the roof for the tent. And to make the sides be vertical, that's where I'm going to I just fold this out of my way and glue my tab and then fold it back down. Get it nice and straight lined up as I go around. I'm going to just keep doing the same thing. It doesn't hurt any for it to go up like that. Just go ahead and glue. Put that back down. There we go. Just do it on all of them until I have completed the circle. The only thing is on the last one when I'm going to show you when I get there. You're not going to be able to flip it up like that on the last tab. So you just have to turn the lid over and glue the tab from the inside and then place it in. Um, I just find it really convenient to move it out of my way. Um, and it doesn't hurt it any to have the extra folding happen on that crease. Almost there. Have it. Quite push right there. Catch that spot. There we 
we go. All right, and this is my last tab, like I said. I could actually just fold that in real tight. Put glue here, put glue here. Bring it down in place. And then get this one in position. I've already got glue there. Or I could have just turned it over and done it. There we go. There it is. Now to decorate it, we've got eight triangles that each have the little scallop edge. And then there's a decorative panel that you can put over top so that the scallop edge has a different color. If you don't want to, I could have just left it off and kept my red and white stripes. That would actually look really nice as well. But I kind of liked that it provided a little contrast, made sure you could really see where there is a change from the roof to the sides. Um, so I'm going to put that on. Keeping in mind though that I have my little flag and it's double sided. So I just had the two white pieces and I put on my little decorative triangle. And what I'm going to do to finish it is glue the triangles back to back. And this flag, oops, that's great. Um, this flag does overhang a little bit on one of the triangles. So what I'm going to do to start with, get this over here, you'll notice that I did not put glue in here because that's how it attaches onto the roof. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute and I'm going to glue each one of these in place. But I'm not going to glue the blue end just yet. I'm going to do that later once I get everything positioned. So. Add my glue. And this glue sets pretty fast, so I don't have a lot of wiggle if I don't get it quite positioned right. Um, so what I try to do is line it up at the bottom on that crease line, right there, and then just run my hand up to smooth it out. And it's in place. I like to be able to set it down while I'm working and these scallops go a little bit beyond the edge and that's why I wait till afterwards so that they can actually kind of stick out or not quite be attached just yet. If you want to attach them right now then that is just fine. I just, it's my own preference is all. There we go. Now, because this sticks out and over, that's why I put these triangles first, because I don't want to try to reach underneath of them, uh, underneath of the flag as I'm putting them in, in place. Uh, but I have them up. So now I can position my flag. So it sticks over top of one of my triangles. There we go. And I just cut it out in white, so that way if it shows at all, it's I'm not going to stand out or anything. If I wanted to have it stick up straight, I could just glue part of this together and then a little bit attaches and do whatever. I just like the idea of the flag being right down onto the uh, tent top. And now I can continue all the way around, get all my triangles in place. cover up that little piece that's attaching the flag. All right, and now I'm going to continue all the way around. All right, so now I have all eight of them on, but I have not attached my little scalloped edge yet. 
to do that, I'm going to flip this up and I'm going to actually just put a little bit below every scallop and glue there and then fold it down. And that will secure that scalloped edge in place. You don't have to cover the whole thing. Um, actually, you don't want to because that scallop comes up just a little bit in the corners here and you don't need to have that glue exposed. Um, but that's all. I'll just work my way around on these eight.